In this problem, we're going to find the inverse of this function, x squared plus 1, for x less than or equal to 0. This part's actually really important in this problem. Okay, so the first step is to replace our function with y. So y equals x squared plus 1. The second step is to switch our x and y. So this is x equals y squared plus 1. And the third step is to solve for y. So I'm going to do it up here. So we'll start by subtracting 1. That'll give us x minus 1 equals y squared. And now uh, we take the square root of both sides. So we get the square root, square root. So I'm going to go ahead and put the result on the left here. So we'll get a y. And then the square root property says whenever you take the square root of something squared, you get a plus or minus. So you get this. So which one is it? Let's think about this. We said x was less than or equal to 0. So here's our x right here. But then our x became our y. Right? We renamed it. So really, y is less than or equal to 0. That means that we want the negative. So it's negative square root x minus 1. Again, x is less than or equal to 0. It's right here. But then it became the y, you see? So we want y to be great, less than or equal to 0. So the y needs to be negative or 0, so you take the negative. The fourth step is to just rename y and call it the inverse function using the proper notation, which is f inverse of x is equal to minus and then square root x minus 1. And that would be the final answer.